New week, new arena against this blue slimy out there. And I'm of course here to cover everything you need to know to build your team and hopefully get a high ranking. I'm Katsuma Gaming, let's get right into this. First things first, let's check out the boss real quick. Um, while I cover the text box here, it doesn't really matter because it just says the enemy is weak to water, uh, he deals water attacks, sorry, and he's weak to haste and blind, um, bind, sorry. As usual, this stuff doesn't really matter unless there's like anything specifically stated that they're like really weak to poison or anything like that. So you can just ignore that. The one thing to note here, he deals water attacks. So you want to build an electro team as just seen here on the left. And this is my team that I want to use for this arena. Uh, I will talk about alternatives in a second. Just want to go through the units and explain the idea here. First things first, we of course use Christmas Kamiko as our Reshred unit with her ulti 1 version 1, I'll talk about it in a second. Then we have Christmas Aqua with her ulti 1 version 2 and the Aqua passive trait, main passive trait. Then we have Kemper Rin with her ulti 1 version 2. Slot 4 will actually be Union, school Union, with, uh, let's actually switch it out to her ulti 2, shouldn't matter, but safe and sorry, with the Union trait. And slot 5, we have New Year Wiz. Just as a quick information for all the people here who normally ask how do you build teams, what you need to watch out for, there are a few things that you always want to have in your team. First things first here is of course a buffer. And in this team we actually have two buffers. Both Comicus and Rin's ulti are buffing the team with physical and magical attack. If you wonder why I choose two here, um, both Rin and Comicus durations are rather low. So having two different buffers means I can't keep the buff up the whole time. And secondly, both of these ultis also give a tier 2 self speed boost to the specific units, which means that I can get away with not running a specific speed unit in the team, since, well, like in Misaka, right? Um, that's the reason why I chose this ultis here, um, since my main units here, aka Komiko, Rin, and if Union comes in Union as well, are all magical units. I'm using Aqua's Ulti 2 version 2 to lower the enemy's magic resistance compared to her Ulti 2 version 1, which provides just a physical defense down, which would benefit Aqua but not the other units. So that's the best thing to choose here. And of course, we use Wiz here as the team passive type provider. Since we are using Christmas Aqua, we cannot use Halloween Aqua, so we cannot use an Electro team passive trade buffer and well new year is, is the second best because she at least gives us a three percent magical attack boost which boosts the damage of rin and Komiko a bit more than the regular two percent damage boost okay we have a buffer checked out um, i'm giving you the information here the boss actually deals a lot of damage and there's a good chance that one of the units can faint so a healer is rather appreciated in that case we luckily have to cover it with aqua we want to have a rash red unit, in that case Comico is our rash red unit. Um, we potentially want to have some kind of gauge up and or CDR. In this case we actually have it a lot. We have Comico's double that provides gauge up. We have Aqua and Rin both having one CDR spill of actually 6 seconds both times. So that's a lot of CDR. And with that we have I think most of the important stuff covered. I mean again, um, if you can do that, you want to have some elemental boost stuff but aqua also has it covered here um, again you normally want to have a speed boost but i just explained why we don't use it here and that's just how this team come together before we start the run of course as usual replacement units for a team if you don't have those units if you don't have the comico here as the rash red unit you can also just use mel since apparently the boss is neither weak to either physical or magical teams a physical team should be plausible and doable in that case, just Mel, OG Mel, will be the best option. She can also be then your speed boost provider, so in that case, she can maybe be a bit better, but of course, I think Comico's damage is just a bit higher. If you don't have this Aqua, you can either just choose to use a uh, fast Aqua here, or you could also just move the Aqua to slot 5, then use Halloween Aqua for the lightning boost provider, and just bring another damaging unit in here or another healer like Snow Cecily would be a great fit here. It would be a replacement for this Aqua. And for Rin, 
The best replacement that you can use, which I would not actually use, but I don't have her, is the new Crimson Demon Iris. She is triple hit, deals a lot of damage. She has um, CDR, which is great, of course, here for that regard. And with her ulti 2, version 2, she can actually do pretty decent damage. Casino Vernier would also be a potential unit, a replacement for either Kameko or Aqua. Because he has Rush Red, he has Damage Block, with that your team should be a little bit more tanky. I still think you would need a healer, so I think it would more be a replacement for Kameko if you have neither Kameko nor Mel. Or if the boss is just less weak to physical units, which they don't say it, so I don't think so, but in, in theory. Um, so I think this would be the best replacements if you neither have Rin nor have um, the Iris, just move Union up if you don't have Union. Another good lighting DPS that you can in theory use would just be Fest Kazuma. If you still lacking one of those units that I just listed and need more help with team building, either ask me down in the comment section or join the Discord. Links are down below in the video description as well. And just post your inbox here, be like, hey, I need help with team building. Both I, myself, and of course my beautiful community are gladly there to help you understand team building more. With that out of the way, let's let's finally jump into the run big update before the run uh, i forgot completely to give rin the proper water resistance gate shop earrings so that should help a lot um union has a little bit better subs now and water resistance earrings so if she comes out she can stay above 70 percent hp a bit more and i think it's pretty much it all the changes that i did um hopefully kameko has one gate shop aqua has one gate shop and that should pretty much it, so let's give it another go and see if we can get lucky in the last run. Okay, we start off here first by waiting for the boss to hit. Nice suit. Use a double hit here to we'll kill off the first mob. And feed as much gauge into Kameko possible so she can ult ASAP. Wavely here. Press the pause button so we can find more stuff better. I'm going to use a basic here with Rin. Wait for the first boss hit. Suddenly went to Aqua. Into now Ares assist to allow Kamiko to ulti. There we go. Into Aqua CDR, into Ring CDR. Let's wait a little bit before the boss attacks. Don't well, understand that, but it's fine. Let's use double it here. Use one basic so we can find the rush right here. The basic was there mostly to just try to proc um, the Aqua trait here to get more boosted damage in. Tell it didn't, so it's fine in the end. CDR into CDR. Rush Rats, single target. That will give us one more Aqua heal, but we wait, of course, for the boss to hit first. Just like that to heal our team up fully. So far, so good. And check Aqua's cooldowns first. She has lightning down for Nicey. And we cross nothing, so we can use that. I actually want to wait here for Aqua to hit because that way we can reapply the rush wave. We also get the Aqua proc, which is really good. And we can wait for Rin to attack. I get Aqua boosted. Third fives in here. Pretty, pretty good start. Pretty good. Nice. Yeah, just pausing to see the cooldowns. Check if I want to switch around. Maybe like. Here you can see Aqua is close to being ready. Um, so let's just switch over here, pause, see what the cooldowns look like. 
Okay, I probably um, can either use the Rin skill here first or Aqua shouldn't matter. So I'm just going to use Aqua first into Rin skill. Use the Earth Assist again to see if I can do something with Kameko. Just use a basic in case she finds you. She didn't, okay. That means we can do that and that. Uh, let's actually wait here. Nice, okay. Want to double check that I get my stuff in before Reshra runs out. Seems a good time to use Rinaldi. Now the buff should last till the end. The speed boost as well. So that's good. Freddy doesn't hit Kameko here. Nice. That's a good double hit. A good CDR into CDR. No Aqua proc here, Sash. Reapply Rash Red. And auto. And there we go, 1.275. Again, it will probably be easier to get high scores with the new Iris. You should easily out damage that, but for like a lower budget team, I would say, um, of course, there is still some limited units that you potentially don't have, but it's it's a hyper team with like one permanent to uh, limited, but I said they are pretty decent, so I kind of recommend summoning on them. So if you have didn't do that or just didn't get lucky, uh, there are replacements out there. But I think even with like Mel and another unit in there, you should be able to get to around a million. And I think this arena specifically, this should already be pretty decent. Anyway, I still hope this little video helped you out. If it did, like, subscribe, follow for more content. Banner guide for the new Nico Miko unit should come later or before this video, I don't know yet. But stay out for that as well. And see you all in the next one. Bye.